What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my reaction to the first official reveal of the Fighter Pack 1 D It's a DLC pack, but they just call it Fighter Pack Injustice 2 some character stuff I, I cannot explain how many times I messed up on the intro. Anyways, hey there. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, guys, but I'm uh, back again. Uh, it's during finals week right now uh, at school, so that's fun. Um, but I have a little break right now, and I was like, you know, I gotta catch up on some videos, uh, see what's been coming out lately. Because I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I don't watch anything. If it's a trailer that drops, I don't watch it until I do a reaction to it for the most part. Um, but uh, coming out of the, this break or hiatus I've been taking, one of the first things I see uh, is this. Injustice 2, their fighter pack reveal, and our head is spoiled what characters are in there. Starfire, uh, we have uh, Sub-Zero, and then of course, Red Hood. Woo! I, I, I cannot explain how excited I am that Red Hood is in the game. Uh, this is really awesome. I know this trailer is only a minute, but I really hope we get an awesome glimpse at uh, what is going to be in store for Jason Todd, one of my favorite characters of all time, up there with Batman and Wolverine and Spider-Man. I love the character of Red Hood, so let's just see what they have to offer for these characters. Let's check it out. And here we go. I don't know why I had to say it like that. Oh. <laughs> Stop! Let's get it! Let's go. Come on, dude. Look at it. It's so... Oh, come on. What, Mantit? Oh! The little image they have back there hinted at the other characters. I saw Mantis. I saw uh, Raiden. Raiden's silhouette it looked like. So now, real quick, I'm going to check the description of this video. But, uh, oh my god. Including the DLC, including Fire Pack 1. So, now, will this be available at launch, or is this something I have to buy for the DLC? I don't know. I don't know. But it looks like I'm going to have to get the $100 version of Injustice 2, just for Red Hood. Uh, <laughs> he looked pretty sick. And the fact that you're going to have character customization is even sicker. Uh, I think that is really awesome, and being able to customize his armor and his look and his appeal is really freaking it. All right, all right, before before I even start ranting about Red Hood, let's talk about uh, Sub Zero and let's talk about well, um, Starfire. Uh, Starfire is a really great character. A character, of course, I've been fond of ever since Teen Titans, the TV show. Um, even though I've always enjoyed her character, things like that. But uh, I really enjoyed her actually in the comic book, specifically in the Red Hood and the Outlaws run. So that's why it makes it pretty cool that these two were revealed together. Because in my personal opinion, I think the relationship that Starfire and Red Hood Jason Todd have together in that comic book series is really something unique and special. And yeah, it's a different direction for that character that a lot of people didn't really like. But I think once you look past the general like, ooh, she's just a sexualized character. I think there's more depth and a lot more uh, uh, development than people really realize that uh, I think I believe Liddell is his name 
the, the creator of that is, is, is escaping my mind, but I highly recommend you guys read Red Hood and the Outlaws. I think it's a really great comic book run, uh, really good stuff, and Starfire really does get some time to shine, especially in that second story arc when it gets involved with her lineage and her sister. Really cool stuff. We didn't get gameplay, that's very unfortunate, but I'm really excited uh, about that and just to see how these characters are going to look and how they're going to play out and things of that nature, what, what kind of... Uh, uh, characters are they gonna play as? Um, I can already imagine Starfire being a very strong uh, mid to long range character, uh, kind of like uh, Firestorm in that sensibility, uh, and just seeing Red Hood just being a really good up and close to mid range character, really being able to keep people on their toes with the guns and making sure they're always staying off balance, but at the same time really being able to get in with some awesome close quarters combat. Be even better if they include the knife that he has as well, that would be incredible if they do that too. Um, so with that being said, my thoughts on Sub-Zero, eh, eh, eh. I know they always include uh, a legacy character from Mortal Kombat and from now on into these other games, but I, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I think, yeah, Sub-Zero is cool, he's classic, but I don't know, something about when they port over those Mortal Kombat characters, they are just so <laughs> annoying and so just uh, broken in a sense in the way they fit into the, sh the core structure of gameplay of the Injustice games. Like, I really did not like Scorpion. I think he had a lot of cheap moves, honestly, and I just, I just found him frustrating to deal with and play against. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm not too big of a fan or too keen on Sub-Zero being in the game, but nevertheless, guys, I, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. But I don't know if you guys are excited excited as I am about this, but holy crap, we have Red Hood coming to Injustice 2. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. Come on, guys. This is this is pretty rad. I mean, unless you just don't like Red Hood at all and you're not excited, then that's very unfortunate, and I'm sorry for you. But nevertheless, guys, I am enthralled words beyond description, plus I've been up for a very long time and I'm tired and finals and all that stuff, but uh, my mind is scrambled, but I am still excited to be able to pick up Injustice 2, especially once I get out for this semester, because my god, has it been a pain. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Either way, let me know what you think about these characters being revealed for DLC Pack 1 or the Fighter Pack 1, however you want to describe it. Actually, instead of just buying the whole DLC pack, I might just buy Red Hood individually. Um, but let me know what you think about this reveal in the comment sections down below. And also, who else are you looking out for for the next DLC Fighter Pack? Who are you still rooting for? I know there's a lot of great suggestions uh, in there in the comment section down below, and it's cool seeing uh, our fan favorites actually come to life. I remember someone putting in the comment sections that they wanted to see Dr. Fate, and then boom, we've got Dr. Fate in the game, and here I am championing, uh, you know, championing uh, um, uh, Red Hood ever since the reveal trailer, and here we are finally getting that evidence that he is in the game and that he is coming to kick butt, which is really, really awesome. So let me know who you're looking for to in the description, uh, on the comment section down below. Descriptions, that's my part, not yours. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked my reaction and my review, feel free to go ahead down there and hit that like button. If you did not, eh, it's all right, but if you're new here and you like the content, maybe subscribe it's free why not thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate your time don't forget to leave your thoughts down below i've been daniel and don't forget to get geeky